The Environmental Management Act, EMA, is aimed at promoting the sustainable management of the environment and the use of natural resources by establishing principles for decision-making on matters affecting the environment. Shifeta noted that over the years, there has been an increase of applications for the environmental clearance certificates in compliance of the Act, resulting in the ministry to launch an online application system for the clearance certificates last year. We need cooperation from all state organs to enforce compliance. All competent authorities should understand that. The Ministry of Environment and Tourism does not prevent development of any sort, but the Ministry has constitutional mandate to prevent any violation of our environmental law in the whole Namibia. Shifeta further stated that there is an urgent need to position the country's national parks in an attractive manner by ensuring that parks' infrastructure is up to the highest standards as possible. Such developments will enable parks to serve as engines of economic growth. One such park, he pointed out, was the upgrading of the Etosha National Park. Serious attention will also be given to the upgrading of the boundary fence for Etosha National Park, using our own staff members and the volunteers. Last week when I was there, they are about to start, and this project will actually be launched on the 21st, on the 22nd February 2020. More focus will also be given to the maintenance of the Etosha National Parks tourism roads. He also revealed that the ministry's focus this year includes park infrastructure development, park management planning, as well as tourism development at Skeleton Coast, Cape Cross, and Namibia Nankloft Park. Julia Nafuka, NBC News, Bantuk.